Hey there, big boy. So, what do you think? I think you look, uh, I mean... Jack, we're friends, for Christ's sake. It's not like we're brother and sister. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I know I look a little bit crazy because I have like no mascara on or anything like that, but I have just filmed a first impression on the Rare Beauty Foundation and Concealer. So if you haven't seen that one, I'll put the link in the description box and like a little thing like on the screen somewhere but today is my first Halloween look this is the look that I wanted to do I've seen a couple of people do it on TikTok it is just Christina Aguilera's makeup in burlesque when she first gets told to wear a wig and it's super super pretty and I feel like it's kind of easy and now that I've said that I'm not going to be able to pull it off I do have a white wig which I will put on at the end just for like shits and giggles but so I'm super excited to do this because I think it's really glamorous and really pretty so let's get started I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to pull this off because she has heaps of lid space and I have like next to nothing. I think I'm going to start by carving out my crease with a little bit of brown shadow. She does have black shadow there, but I wanna go in with brown just so I don't mess it up. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette for this one. So I'm going in with the shade Perfectionist and what I'm basically going to do is look straight onto the camera straight onto the camera is straight onto the mirror and sort of just draw where I want the crease to be which is going to be a little bit underneath my brow bone just because I don't have a crease so the shape she has sort of like goes like this and comes down and then flicks out like a wing real test will be to get it like the same on the other side so now that I've got that on my eyes I am going to go in with the Stila Magnificent Metals eyeshadow in Jezebel Jezebel I really suck and I'm gonna use the applicator to just carve out that shape but I'm sort of leaving like my lash line bare just because I'm gonna put black eyeliner there anyway this is just a base color I, I'm gonna put something on top of it as well so it's a little bit more pink because this is more bronze than what I thought it was in the tube <laughs> so while that is drying I am just going to pick up this hot pink color here and I'm just going to apply that over it just so it sticks really well because it's wet and I'm just gonna apply that with my finger. So I'm gonna go into the liner now. And as you can see, the liner is like a black wing and then like a white line and a black line underneath it. I'm using the Kat Von D liquid liner for this one. So I'm just starting out with the line and hers is quite thick, but I don't know if that's because she's got really thick lashes on as well. As I said before, I don't really have a lot of lid space like she does, so I don't want to do it too, too thick. Okay, that's my wing there. It doesn't really line up with the other one, but that's okay. I'll fix it when I do, like, the black eyeshadow. Now I'm going in with some NYX Glitter Glue and then this BYS Glitter. It came in, like, a 10-pack. You could use craft glue or anything like that, obviously, like, if it's safe for the eyes. So just on both eyes with the glitter, and now I'm going to go in with a black shadow. <laughs> This is a little bit scary, but all I'm going to do is pretty much trace that pink shade. And I want it quite pigmented because hers is like quite pigmented and then just kind of like diffused on the outer edge. So that's what it's looking like so far. It's looking super, super crazy, but I'm going to blend it. So that's how big I've made the wing, just so I can put the white underneath it. It's looking really, really crazy and really, really messy, but I'm hoping that the eyelashes and like wig will bring it together. I'm going to use the Morphe Blank Slate Eyeliner for the white section. And I use this eyeliner all the time. So I know that I already love it. So I'm just going to wait for that white eyeliner to dry. And then I'm going to do a second layer just to make sure it's super, super opaque. And then there's like a black line underneath it. But while I'm waiting for that white eyeliner to dry, I'm just going to go in with some Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I've actually never used this mascara, even though it's been out for like a zillion years. I like the brush. It doesn't like dig into my eyelashes or anything like that. It's hard to tell with all the glitter on, but yeah, my eyelashes look pretty good. I'm going to fast forward this bit because putting on mascara is kind of boring. And now I'm going to draw that black line that's underneath the white. This is just a simple straight line. And then I'm going to apply these super, super fun, glamorous lashes with like little diamantes on them. I don't know where I got these from. I have a feeling I got them from iMats like years ago. And I'm really scared to apply them just because of the diamante. But I'm going to pop these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here I am looking super, super crazy. These lashes are so big and they don't like stick on your eyes they have to sit like flat on my eyelid because of the diamantes and then i put some lower lashes on and it did a little bit more like liner and stuff under the eyes i literally can barely open my eyes um if you were using like just big like fanned out lashes you'd be fine um i am going to do like a really bright inner corner because she does have that in the movie so i'm gonna pick up the shade 
I'm in it and just apply it like in the inner corner. It's kind of pink this shade as well. Or it might actually not be pink, it might just be because I've dipped a pink brush into it. <laughs> So I'm going to do some bronzer really quickly, get that out of the way, because it's not really a focus in her makeup. I'm using the NARS Laguna bronzer, and I am going to chisel out my cheekbones just because she has really chiseled cheekbones. I will never look like her, but I can try. And I'm going to bring it like really far into my mouth. I'm really going to chisel out my nose as well. I'm not going to worry too much about my forehead just because I know that the wig is going to cover that anyway. I am just going to take some powder and just bake underneath that contour just to make sure it's really, really chiseled. And then I'm going to move on to the blush. Now, the blush in the picture is like really, really bright pink. So I'm going to use this Anastasia blush and I'm pretty much just going to like mix them all together. And it sort of looks like it's sort of just like all over her cheeks. So that's what I'm going to do. Obviously, she's doing like stage makeup. So her makeup is obviously going to be really heavy. And then I am just going to take a blending brush and just like blend out the edges. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing really fast. I think just because it took so long to get those eyelashes on, I'm kind of thinking that I need to finish this fast. And my videos are always really long anyway. Sorry if it's a little bit speedy. Um, and I'm going to use a little bit of highlight. It doesn't really look like she has like too much on her cheeks. I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill highlight palette. And I'm just going to use these two here. This palette's stunning, by the way. If you don't have it, you definitely need it. Um, I was really worried about like getting this palette because of her um, lipstick scandal, but yeah, this palette's really nice. I wouldn't purchase the lipsticks, obviously, because of what happened. Um, I just don't want to risk it, but this palette's super nice. Okay, and I am just going to blend that out again. I always blend out like my highlight and powders and stuff. She also has a little beauty mark on her face, and it's inconsistent because one side it's on the left and one side it's on the right, but I'm going to put mine on my right hand side. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It's not perfect, but I don't want to fix it because then I'll just ruin it. And her lips are really, really full. So I'm going to just overline mine just a little bit. I don't know how ridiculous this is going to look. I've never overlined my lips before. So it looks a little bit silly, but I don't know if that's just because I've never lined my lips before or if it actually looks silly. So this is the YSL lipstick in the shade. I think it's number 07. It doesn't really have, it doesn't have a shade. It just has numbers. So I'm just going to use a lip brush just on the bits where I overlined. Okay, so this is how the makeup is looking. I kind of just feel like a clown or a doll. Um, it looks stunning on her. I don't know if it looks the same on me. These eyelashes are insanely cool. They're just really uncomfortable. So I have this wig here. I just got it from Cheapest Chips. Kind of looks similar to the one she's wearing, maybe a little bit longer. But I have quite a round face, so that could work out in my favour. So I'm going to try and apply this. I've never put on a wig, like, properly before. So let's see how this goes. I really should have bought like a wig cap or something. Might just double check because it might make my life a whole lot easier. So I'm glad I checked because I did buy a wig cap. I bought these wigs like ages ago. I got this wig cap from Spotlight. It just looks like a stocking. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pin my hair back like behind my ears. I actually kind of like my hair up like this, like when my ears weren't showing. Wow, it's quite stretchy, but my head's so big I still don't think this is going to fit. I don't know how I'm meant to get this on. I've done this right. I look gorgeous if I do say so myself. I actually feel like um, my sister's gonna kill me for not remembering the name of this but you know Emperor's New Groove the like crazy lady with like the eyelashes that's what I feel like right now. Okay you can like see through the wig that's how shitty it is and again I don't know how to do this. I feel absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I have socks in my bra right now just so my nipples don't show. I don't want to get like flagged for like pornography, but this is the finished look. You know, I, I actually don't hate it. Once the wig goes on, it looks okay. You can kind of get who like I'm meant to be. The wig's obviously not the right shade and the right quality, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment down below something that you want me to do for my next video or just any thoughts or even like constructive criticism would be great and make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. I'm a Kmart version of Christina Aguilera.